Arduino is a great way to make amazing projects or to introduce yourself or your kids to microcontroller programming. So I made this LED brick to get my son into the cool world of programming. And the best part? I recycled an RGB LED from leftover LED strips that I had laying around the house. I am Max from Lifehacker Max and in this video I will show you how I made this RGB LED brick from leftover LED strips as well as a simple sketch you can use to make your very first Arduino project. Before doing anything you should figure out the positive and negative connections of the LED. The inscriptions from the strip should give you a pretty good idea. I should add at this point that not all LED strips have the same type of LEDs. My LED strip has 6 pin connection LEDs, a negative and a positive for each color. If your LEDs look different than mine or do not have 6 terminals, this video might not be useful for you and you should search for a different tutorial that matches your specific type of LED. First things first, I need to desolder the SMD LED from the strip. I am doing this by bending the strip to make it move away from the LED once the solder melts. I am also adding some more solder in order to melt all three connections at the same time. I am doing the same on the other side but pushing the LED away from the connections with my soldering iron. It is much easier to do this if you have a soldering stand and clip the LED in. Now I will stick the LED face down on a piece of wood to make it easier to handle. For this I am using a bit of double sided adhesive tape. I will keep track of the ground and positive connections. I use different resistors for the colors as the red light is rated at a lower voltage than blue and green. I cut the resistors to the desired length and use one of the remaining wires to connect all the grounds together. After that I solder the resistors to the positive connections of each color. Keep in mind that I am using a different resistor for the red LED which is the middle one. I cut the pins from the other side of the resistors to the desired length and soldered wires to each terminal. I also insulated the connections with some thermal tubes. Next I place the whole thing in my 3D printed box that you can find and print yourself by using the link in the description and filled it with my glue gun.
After the glue hardened, I cut the excess with a cutter and used a lighter to make the surface look neat. On the other side of the wires, I will add some pins to make it easier to connect the brick to the Arduino. For this, I am placing some leftover pins in a socket to determine the right length and solder each wire to a pin. To make them more durable, I will make a double insulation by using two different sizes of heat contractible tubes. I connect all the pins from my brick to Arduino's corresponding pins from my sketch. And for the programming part I altered a bit the first example from the Arduino IDE to add all the colors of my LED. So instead of controlling only one LED I am controlling all three colors in a sequence. You can copy paste the sketch from the description of this video. I'm Max from Lifehacker Max, I hope you found this video useful and if you want more Arduino tutorials leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.